I'm Daphne Richards. Our question this week is about a tomato that's sprouting from the inside. And what's going on? Well, thanks to Joanne Nash from the Round Rock ISD Opportunity Center for this great question. One of her colleagues, Cindy Taylor, brought in this odd tomato for Joanne's class to explore. And here's what happened. Last summer, Cindy's air conditioner went out and this tomato got a bit warm. This situation is called vivipary, which is Latin for live birth, when seeds germinate inside the parent plant. If things are just right, the internal seeds sprout and grow out through the skin. Since the same thing can happen in a compost pile, the students decided to pot up their tomato. As it took root, they watered and fertilized it with water from their fish tank. For the winter, they've moved their new tomato plant into their greenhouse, and I bet they get the first tomatoes on the block this year. Our pick this week is Possum Hall Holly, Ilex decidua. Cedar waxwings, like this one dining at the Kyle's, love the fall and winter berries. They're also favored by mockingbirds, American robins, and other wildlife. Despite the horrible summer, the Kyle's possum haws are covered with berries. This native shrub is deciduous, adding colorful interest to what might otherwise be a drab winter garden. It gets 15 to 30 feet tall and 15 feet wide, so it could actually be treated as a small tree. Like other hollies, the leaves are thick and glossy during the growing season, and these turn yellow in the fall before they're dropped. This plant really needs full sun to produce a good crop of winter berries, but it can tolerate some shade. As you might guess, since it sailed through the hellacious summer of 2011, it shouldn't be overwatered, and it may rot if it's planted in an area with poor drainage. But even though it doesn't like much water, you should still give it a drink every now and then during long periods without rainfall. To do in the garden this week, plant trees, shrubs, perennials, and roses. If you have a plant also that you'd like to move, now's a good time to do that so that it can reestablish before the extremely hot weather inevitably arrives. And as winter comes to a close, food sources are becoming scarce in nature, so put out any food and water for birds and other wildlife. We'd love to hear from you, so please visit klru.org ctg to send us your question or a plant of the week from your garden. Mm -hmm.